Ron, one of my favorite books is your book, The Rosenberg File, with, written with Joyce Milton, in which I would say you give a definitive account of the bona fide case against the Rosenbergs. Uh, you exonerate Mrs. Rosenberg in part. You, you convict Mr. Rosenberg uh, in whole. Well, yet, is, the truth is that since 1995, when Venona decrypts from the Soviet Union, KGB started to be released by the CIA and the FBI, we now know that Julius Rosenberg had created a major Soviet network. We are still finding out more people who were recruited to his network that we didn't know of before. So the story is not yet over. We've also learned, subsequently, with the release of an owner decrypts and other material, that his wife, Ethel Rosenberg, was more guilty than we thought then. That, in fact, she was very aware of what he was doing and helped him recruit people for the network. So she was not, in fact, innocent. In that sense, she really was guilty because she was part of a conspiracy to commit espionage with what they were charged for. Uh, so, I, I am proud to say that all the recent revelations and new KGB papers that have been released of the Cilia files, the Venona decrypts, have proven that our essential story was completely correct in the way we outlined it in 1983 before any of this material was available. And now, in the past few years, Morton Sobel, their co-defendant, confessed that he indeed was a Soviet spy, and just as we said in the book, we didn't know that he was in charge of the operation to steal stuff from a Columbia uh, uh, university physicist who one of their men had access to the safe and took it out and they Xeroxed it all over July 4th weekend and that he mentioned how he gave the material thousands and thousands of secret top secret government files to the KGB on a platform of the Long Island Railroad in New York so that we now know the extent of their espionage was far more than we ever thought at the time we wrote that book in 1983 the other tragedy is that their sons, Robert and Michael Mirapol, still persist in going on the lecture circuit, particularly the universities, and they're planning a major tour this coming June, the 60th anniversary of the execution of their parents, to again prove that their parents were innocent Cold War victims of the American Empire, which is really preposterous. All they admit to is that their father was, as they keep putting it, a low-level espionage agent who got them inconsequential industrial data that was of no real military use to the Russians. That is completely false. We also now know that they were, in fact, atomic spies, and that they had, as was just found out a few months ago by Carvey, Claire, and John Haynes, one more agent who they recruited who was involved in Los Alamos and was part of the Soviet network. They were atomic spies. Thanks, Ron.